for this one. that time of the year again all right everyone it is that time of the year again it is time to cut the grass yeah the backyard doesn't look too bad so as you can see back here uh, it's kind of getting ankle high so it's time to knock this out and this is what we're going to uh, cut it with we purchased this craftsman last year this is a Craftsman V60. Let me get it out of this so you can see it better. Too close to the mirror. So, um, let's get some lights. So, this is the battery that uh, is used with our electric lawnmower. As you see, this is the same thing Craftsman V60. I'm actually going to look up the photo of the box so that I can give you the original model number of this. But um, this only takes about three or four hours to charge. Um, I had taken it actually out of the lawnmower because I said to myself if some idiot gets in our garage or if we leave our garage open and they steal the lawnmower I would not want them to have the battery easier to get a charger charger and batteries like 120 130 bucks if I'm not mistaken I think just the battery alone is like 90 so uh, if someone would have stole it I would rather them had nothing so that's why I brought the battery inside so this has been out of the lawnmower since at least October of 2019 and it's March 25th, and it's the first time I'm using it. So three to four hour time for it to uh, charge up, which I think is perfect. And it's very interesting. It actually just slides like that. Those little metal grooves go down into these little metal contactors and charge it. And then you even have this nice button here telling us we're fully charged. So this is the Craftsman V60 lawnmower. Uh, as I mentioned, we bought this. We bought this last August. We actually got it for half price. Um, so we only paid $199 for this when originally this is a $399 electric lawnmower. It goes together pretty easy. Um, this little cable's already ran when you pull it out of the box. So you basically uh, just take these handlebars, slide them on each side, and you screw this screw through here, and boom, it is put together. There's a handle there to help you lift it over stuff, which I'm going to need. It does come with the shroud that you'd need to have the grass. I don't know if it's called a shroud, but the uh, attachment here, if you wanted the grass to shoot out the side. Instead though, this one has the very convenient bag, which I will show you, uh, how, you how you take this out when I have to do it at the end of this video. Your battery goes in this little containment part compartment here. just slides in like so there we go has to click in and then when you release it you just hit this button to release it so uh, I'm gonna show you me starting this I'm gonna show you me doing some of the grass cutting with this to be 100% honest this thing has been amazing for us um, considering we used it from only about the middle of August to middle to end of October last year now a lot of people ask, uh, how powerful is it and does it bog down? The answer to the first question is yes, it's very powerful. I have no issues cutting the entire yard with this thing. But if the grass is too tall, you kind of have to make the kind of have to make the lawnmower do like a willy and kind of go across it the first time and then maybe the next time you come back you can just lay it down. That's just because if the grass is too tall, it's just too much for the battery and the motor to be able to handle. So when you go over it like a willy the first time, you kind of cut it in half. Sometimes you may have to do that a second time. And then the final time, you can just go flat and completely cut your grass. So uh, let's, let's show you this thing, see what it looks like. About the only other thing I can think to show you is how this goes on. So uh, it's one piece with the bag. 
and a, a clip there and a clip there and they literally just go on to this little bar right here so it's very simple just clips right on this goes straight down boom I hate that it kind of looks ugly, I wish I'd have washed it up, but uh, the only other setting is your settings here for low. Um, <laughs> six is of course high, I of course have it on one where it cuts the lowest. Alright, let's uh, crank this thing up and knock out our yard cutting. Alright, so here's what we're working with. And uh, as I mentioned, you're supposed to put the key in and then hold the button and then pull this back and it starts. And there's one line. Go over this one. Line two. See? Pretty simple. Now just to do this a bunch more times. Look at these flowers we got over here. I am so stealing these from my girlfriend. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. I don't know what I'll put them in, but something. Put them with their puzzle. Puzzle time again. All right, but we did a couple of runs. As you can see, it slices through pretty easily. Let's uh, finish this thing. You hear it bogged down a little up here. Listen. A little bit, maybe not. <laughs> and there we go. Just like that. One pass each time. And uh, this thing's done the trick with no problems. All right, I got that little bit of the yard left to finish. I think that will do it for this video though. Uh, this is my six month review of the Craftsman V60 lawnmower. And as I've mentioned, uh, the battery lasts about one hour. It takes about three to four to charge, but this thing has been completely amazing. It saved me a ton of money on gas and uh, I would highly recommend one. If you're able to get one in August or September, you may get it half price for 200 bucks. Otherwise, this will run you $400. But if you look at a $200 gas lawnmower and then you buy gas all the time, in the long run, you're gonna spend way more on a gas lawnmower than this. And this thing works great. But that's my opinion after having it for about six, seven months. So uh, that's gonna do it for today's video though. If you can, click that like button, click subscribe down in the corner, and I will see you in the next one. Deuces. So I was looking for Kaylee at cable, and I realized we have Apple charging, wireless charging, non-Apple charging. That's kind of funny.